dear students we have seen the origin and the general characters of mammals in the previous lesson now in part 2 we will discuss about the classification of these mammals mammals have rightly been classified under kingdom animalia because of the presence of animal cells they have been classified under phylum chordata because of the presence of notochord and vertebral column they have been classified under superclass tetrapoda because of the presence of four limbs they have been classified under clad amniota because of the presence of amnion and other extra embryonic membranes and lastly they have been classified under class mammalia that is because of the presence of mammary glands mammals have thoroughly been classified and described they include approximately 5000 living species and 15000 subspecies and numerous fossil forms today the classification varies coming from various agencies and taxonomists but the current classification is basically described on the basis of following characteristics mode of caring for the young ones nature of their dentitions present in the animal group foot posture nails claws and hooves complexity of the nervous system systemics here we are going to study the classification provided by g g simpson he provided a complete review of the group in a publication entitled the principles of classification and classification of mammals he recognized 18 living and 14 extinct orders of mammals for the purpose of knowledge here we discuss the most adapted book classification describing only the 18 living orders of mammals mammals are classified into two main subclasses prototheria and theria they are classified on the basis of their egg formation prototheria are egg laying mammals whereas animals of theria are the ones which give life to living young ones directly the prototherians have only one order called monotremata theria on the other hand consists of two infra classes before getting classified into orders they are metatheria and eutheria metatheria are the marsupials that is the animals with marsupium or abdominal pouch and theria bearing all the placental mammals that have the presence of placenta taking this basic notes in of classification into account let us now study the characters of all the orders and how are they distinguished from others subclass 1 prototheria protos meaning first and therios meaning beast they are highly primitive and reptile like they are the only egg laying mammals that is why oviparous animals this class is comprised of only one order monotremata and is further described in details order 1 monotremata monos meaning single trema meaning opening that means animals having single opening they have only one cloacal opening present they are confined to the australian continent only examples of monotremes are platypus or duckbill spiny anteater subclass 2 theria ther meaning animals they are modern and the typical animals these are the mammals which give birth to living young ones that is why they are called as viviparous animals this is subdivided into two infra classes metatheria and eutheria infra class metatheria meet meta meaning after they are the pouched and viviparous and mammals they may be with or without rudimentary yolk sac placenta they are mostly confined to australian region it comprises of only one order order marsupialia order 2 marsupialia marsupion meaning pouch means the animals bearing abdominal pouch these are the animals born in a very immature state and complete their development attached to the tits or the nipples of the abdominal pouch or marsupium 
usually three premolars and four molars in each jaw on the either side are present. Vagina is double. Example of this order are opossum, kangaroo, etc. Infra class 2, eutheria. U meaning true, therios meaning beasts. That means the first true beasts. These are the higher viviparous placental mammals without marsupium. Young ones are born in a relatively adult state. Dentition never exceeds 3143 by 3143, that is in all 44 teeth. Eutherians constitute the vast majority of living mammals arranged in 16 orders. If we keenly observe all the characteristics of mammals, they are mostly representing the characters typically of the class Eutheria. Orders classified under Eutheria are described as further. Order 3. Insectivora, insectum meaning insect and vorare meaning to eat. That means the animals which eat insects. These are the small mammals with long pointed snout. Their feet are plantigrade, usually five toed with claws present. They have molars, pointed peg like cusps for insect feeding. Example of this order are mole common shrew, solionodon and hedgehog. Order 4, chiroptera, chiros meaning hand, pteron meaning wing. This is the order of mammals whose forelimbs are modified into wings. These mammals are called as flying mammals. Hind legs are very short and are included in the wing membrane. The teeth are very small, sharp and peg like. They are nocturnal and are capable of true flight. It is having furthermore two suborders named Megachiroptera and Microchiroptera depending upon the sizes of animal. Examples of this order are fruit bats, flying foxes, little brown bat, vampire bat. Order 5 Dermoptera, derm meaning skin. Pteron meaning wings. Four equal sized limbs are present in the animals of this order. The tail is included in the lateral furry skin fold called as petagium. They are nocturnal and live in the trees. The living mammals present are the gliding mammal called flying lemur resembling a flying squirrel. Examples of this order are flying lemurs. Order 6 Edentata. Adentates meaning toothless. In these animals, the teeth are either absent or are reduced only to molar without enamel. Toes are present with long, strong, curved claws. Example of this order are giant anteater, armadillo, and three toed sloth. Order 7 Folidota. Follies meaning a horny scale. The body is totally covered with large overlapping horny scales with sparse hair in between. They do not possess teeth at all. The tongue is long and protrusible and is used to capture insects. Scaly anteaters or pangolins are the only examples of this order. Order 8 Tubuli dentata. Tubulous meaning tube like, dense meaning tooth. The tongue is slender and protrusible. No canines or incisors are present. Each jaw with 4 to 5 teeth lacking enamel are perforated by numerous fine tubules of pulp. Examples of this order are single genus of pig like cape and eater of South Africa. Order 9 Primates Primus meaning of the first rank. Generalized or primitive mammals except for the great development of brain. Flat nails on fingers and toes. First digit is usually opposable and adaptation for grasping. Eyes are typically large and turned forward. They are mostly arboreal in habitat. Primates are divided into three suborders. Lemuroidea, Tarsioidea 
and Anthropoidea. Examples of primates are Loris, Old and New World Monkeys, Apes, Humans, etc. Order 10 Rodentia, Rodo meaning gnaw. This is the largest order of class Mammalia. It usually includes small gnawing animals. Each jaw is with one pair of long, rootless, chisel like incisors growing throughout life. No canines are found. Examples are rat, mouse, guinea pig, beaver, porcupine, and prairie dogs. Order 11 Lagomorpha, Logos, meaning hair, morph, meaning form, that means animals like hairs. They have first pair of large chisel like incisors and second pair of small upper incisors. No canines are present. Examples of this order are rabbit, hare, etc. Order 12, Cetaceae, Cetus or Ketos, meaning a whale. They are large marine fish like mammals, well adapted for aquatic life. Pectoral limbs are modified into broad paddle like flippers. The tail is subdivided into two broad horizontal fleshy flukes with a notch used in propulsion. No claws, no hind limbs and no external ears are present. The living cetacean are further divided into odontoceti that is toothed whales and mysticeti that is whale bone whales. Examples of this order are blue whale, sperm whale etc. Order 13 Sirenaria. Siren meaning sea nymph. They are large, clumsy, herbivores and aquatic mammals with paddle like forelimbs. No hind limbs and a flattened tail with horizontal lateral fleshy flukes with or without a notch. No external ears are present. Muzzle is blunt and hairs are few. Its stomach is very complex. It inhabits estuaries and coastal seas. Example are manatee, dugong, etc. Order 14 Carnivora. Caro meaning flesh and vorare means to eat. That means the flesh eating animals. Small to large predatory flesh eating mammals. Claws are well developed. Incisors are small, canines are large, fang like and molars of cutting type. Living carnivores are divided into two suborders, Physipidae and Pinipidae. Examples are dog, wolf, jackal, hyena, raccoon, seal, walrus, etc. Order 15. Hyracoidea. Hyrax meaning shrew and edos meaning form. They are small animals, guinea pig like, mammals distantly related to elephants. Snout, ears and legs are short. Four toes are present on the front foot and three on the hind foot and each with a flattened hoof like nail. Incisors are one or two. No canines are present. Cheek teeth, lophodont. Connies from South Africa are its example. Order 16th, Proboscidae. Pro in front, boskin to eat. Largest living land animals having large head, massive ears, thick and practically hairless skin, bulky straight legs, three to five toes with small nail like hoofs. Conspicuous feature is the nose and upper lip modified as a long elongated flexible proboscis or trunk. Two upper incisors elongated as ivory tusks. Cheek teeth lophodont. Asiatic and African elephant are the worldwide examples of this order. Order 17th Perisodactyla. Perisos meaning odd, dactylos meaning toes. The odd toed 
hoofed mammals or ungulates have an odd number of toes one or three functional axis of the foot passes through the middle or third digit incisors present in both jaws and stomach is very very simple examples are horses wild ass zebra tapir rhinoceros etc order 18th artodactyla artios meaning even and dactylos meaning digit that means the animals with even number of toes the even toed hoofed mammals having an even number of toes that is 2 or 4 axis of the support passes between the third and fourth toes all except pigs and peccaries ruminate or chew their cud incisors and canines in the upper jaw usually lacking stomach is four chambered there are many animals present having antlers or horns pig hippopotamus camel etc are the examples of this order although the major differences are mentioned above with respect to orders there are many minor differences seen in the terms of different systems like digestive system nervous system reproductive and other system dear students you have seen the classification of the mammals these mammals are highly evolved and occupying at the top of the evolutionary tree these are present in abundance and are classified based on specific characters like caring of young ones dentition food foucher etc using this criteria dr simpson has classified this class mammalia into 18 living orders and 14 extinct orders with respective examples in this chapter thank you